What's up guys, today we're going to set up Selenium for web browser automation on a Raspberry Pi and look at how to launch the script through SSH and with a cron job at boot. So right here we have a sample script we'll be using for testing purposes of this video. I'm just going to start off by saying generally you don't want to use time.sleep in Selenium scripts since you have WebDriver that rate available, but we'll use it here just for the sake of testing. If we run it, you can see that it goes to my YouTube channel, then it scrolls down, clicks on the video tab and then closes. So let's just head over to the Pi right away. A lot of the errors that I've seen come up when installing the requirements for Selenium are simply because people haven't updated their systems. So we'll start with a quick update and upgrade to make sure we get the new Chrome driver. sudo app get update and sudo app get upgrade. So next up, we want to install the Chrome driver. And this is the part where I had a lot of issues because a lot of the guides try to do all kinds of fancy things, but we just want to do sudo apt-get install chromium chrome driver. And as you can see, we get version 86, which is just fine. Next up, we want to install Selenium. So I'm going to do pip3 install Selenium. You can replace this with just pip in case you're not using Python 3. Next up, we want to get the script onto our Pi. So I've already done this. I've just called this YouTube Selenium Pi. As you can see, it's the exact same script. Now, once we've installed it, you might be thinking, okay, let's just try to run it. And we can do that, but the script will fail because we're running, running it through SSH here. If we have it, however, just uh, connect VNC viewer or a screen to the Pi, we can run it here and it will work just fine. The last part is actually just getting it to run from SSH and at boot. And the solution is very simple. We just want to make sure that the script knows that it has to run from the main display. The way we'll be doing this is using the env function. So we're going to do env dash i display and then the display that you want to use. In my case, it's just the main display. Then I'm going to use Python 3 to run Selenium script. So if we do this and run it through SSH, it will run just fine. This also means that we can make it launch a script at boot using using Selenium. So we're going to do cruntap-e. Then just all the way down here, I'm going to do add reboot. And then the same line that we pressed in earlier. Save it. And then just restart. That's it for this time. Like and subscribe if the video helped and post comments you might have down below. I'll see you next time.